Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment is a port of the PSP game Sword Art Online Infinity Moment, but it's not the PSP game slapped onto the Vita. The different title is justified because the Vita version contains the story from the PSP plus a new story. The PSP part of the game is the same. It's super linear, you have to crawl 100 levels into this building, you collect stuff, you beat small enemies, get to a boss fight, rinse and repeat until you climb all 100 floors. But even if the gameplay is repetitive, the story parts in between are great, there's some nice humor there. And the new story that the Vita brings has some sandbox areas. In combat it sucks that even if you have many combinations and buffs, enemies are so easy to beat that you don't require any strategy to use those many attacks you can perform. Sword Art Online Lost Song is the sequel to Hollow Fragment, and I have to warn you that if you haven't played the other one, you will get plenty of spoilers, as the game's dialogue makes reference to events from Hollow Fragment. The biggest difference between this game and the previous one is that now you can fly. Sometimes during combat this mechanic can get confusing, but when running around on the map, it's a cool way to travel. Also now you can change characters, there are multiple playable characters and you can switch between them. There are some exceptions when you really have to play as Kirito because it makes sense to the story, but aside of those, the game lets you play with whoever you want. Also an interesting detail is that you can equip only compatible items to characters, meaning that not every item is universal. Also now in skills there are spells, which aren't just more moves like in the previous game. No, spells can for example boost a teammate's HP, or do elemental damage, or even resurrect a fallen teammate. And all of this makes the game more complex. The game formula is kind of repetitive, I mean you basically do the same thing for multiple hours, but even if you can call the game formula repetitive, it has a certain charm that makes the many hours you put into the game worthwhile. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization does the MMO part of the game really well while other aspects are neglected. Let's start with the good stuff. The game feels like an MMO, but it's actually a single player game. The map is gigantic, especially for a Vita, the map size is incredible, also you can fast travel in the map, that's a big bonus. And the more you level up, the better chances to get good drops from enemies, which will make creature slaughtering more fun. You can issue comments to teammates, you can help teammates out, you can even take out enemies with a much higher level if your teamwork is good enough. It makes you feel like playing an MMO with friends, even if you're not actually playing with friends, you're playing alone. It's incredible how they managed to pinpoint the feel of such a genre in a single player experience. But on the bad side, the game's pacing is terrible, you have to play like 2 hour long missions to get a single cutscene, or pardon me, some text bubbles. The game is more of an MMO than a single player game with a narrative. You get the context and a nice cutscene at the start of the game, but during gameplay you'll see how long it takes to get some more story. Also, if you haven't played the other games released, you won't get all the references. This game makes a ton of references to what happened previously. But don't worry, if you're new to the game franchise and or the anime, you will still enjoy the story. But where returning fans and newcomers have problems are the menus. The game does a poor job explaining the game mechanics. There are so many icons in the menus that people haven't figured out what they are for. Also on the Vita the frame rate isn't so good. It's playable, but it's not even 30 FPS. And why does this game look much worse than the previous one? Lost Song looked downright gorgeous. Sure, the game had some frame drops too, but it ran smoother than this one. And it also looked much better. You could say that, well, the map is gigantic and bigger and the game takes you at least 100 hours to finish the main quest alone, so it's a lot of content, that's why they couldn't squeeze better graphics. I mean, with everything completed, I think that the game will take you around 300 hours to finish. That's a lot to play, yeah, but still, if they discovered how to optimize the game to run good and look good on the Vita, why revert to an uglier version? Also, like all the games in this franchise, most of the game will be the same. Slash your way through whatever enemy and get an occasional boss fight. The only problem I have with the game is the pacing. You get a little story element after like 2 hours of fighting. That's way too long. I mean, in the other games the story element was more frequent. 
Hollow Realization feels more like an MMO than a narrative-driven single-player game. But overall, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization, even if it has some shortcomings, it still remains impressive for managing to make a single-player game that imitates pretty well the experience you would have in an MMO. Ok, minus the dialogues you have with friends and real people, but it's staggering how close it feels. And if we're talking about MMOs, just know that all the games on the Vita have online multiplayer and ad hoc multiplayer, so you can technically play the game online. But the main dish of the games is the single player component. Excel World vs Sword Art Online Millennium Twilight is a crossover between Excel World and Sword Art Online. Fans say that it's a nicely done crossover. The only problem is that if you're not a fan that completed both animes, then you are going to get a lot of spoilers and you won't understand the hidden references. But aside of that, the story is great. In gameplay, there are 40 playable characters, which you can switch mid-battle. There are also new burst mechanics, also it's interesting that for the characters that don't have a flying ability, you get a super jump that can be repeated indefinitely until you reach the high places on the map. The gameplay is great, sure you kinda do the same stuff in those 25 to 30 hours of gameplay, meaning that you beat monsters on the map and do some boss battles, but the gameplay is addictive. And the 40 characters in the game will give you enough incentive to play until you unlock them all. The only problem with the game is that it lags and has frequent frame drops, so performance wise it's not that impressive. The Vita can't handle the game that well. It's playable, but the frame drops are pretty noticeable.